Nation, and Daniel John. I hope you guys are all good. And I hope you're okay. And it is a freezing Sunday morning over here in England. It's frosty as a motherfucker. So I have got myself a cup of big black coffee. And it is fresh in the morning. It's real early right now. So my voice is a little bit husky. <sighs> kind of like a James Earl Jones. <laughs> but we haven't got time for that, brother. Let's get straight into this Q&A. We've got some beautiful questions here. And uh, I'm going to answer the first one, which I was meant to answer last week, which I did partly answer last week. But I actually got to the point where I drift off. So I'm going to stick to these questions today and I'm not going to drift off the subject. So this question was about my brother's progress. People wanted to know what is his goals, where is he going, how is he doing? Uh, so I'm going to give you a brief overview, but I'd rather my brother did a separate video, but he's at the gym at the moment, making some real sexual Tyrannosaurus results, or gains, or whatever you want to call it. But, my brother's progress, so far he's lost, in stone, I think, for three, nearly three and a half stone. Well, there's 14 pounds to a stone, so that's 28, 32, is that correct? Yeah, 32, 42... That nearly 48, 50 pounds in weight he's lost already, so he's doing extremely well. He looks good for it because he's a big guy, he's six foot three, six foot four, uh, and he was 290 or 285 pounds when he started. So he's looking good at the moment. His shoulders are big, beveled. His chest is beveled. His arms are looking solid because um, he's always been a big dude and he's a very strong person. So he's uh, he's looking good for what he's got. Where is he heading? He wants to continue to get leaner. Uh, to strip away that body fat, although he's happy as how he looks at the moment, it's always a journey that we're progressing on, so he's going to lose more body fat, um, and because he's new to working out, he's still going to make those results that come drastically when you start working out, because, you know, you, people, I hate the word, but noob gains, I hate that fucking word, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so he's still going to make those results very quickly, but he's doing extremely well, um, and yeah, so far so good. Um, where is he heading? Yeah. Pretty much what I just said. Sorry about that. So, uh, right, first question. Question for the next Q and A. Do you think? Do, do you have any big things coming for Daniel John? Uh, Daniel John Fitness. Keep up the entertainment videos. Uh, I do have some very big things coming. I think it's going to involve me not making as many videos. Um, and the reason that is is because these projects are going to be very big projects, and they are going to be taking up a lot of my time. But I've got two. I've got three uh, laptops anyway. No, two laptops and one iMac. So I might be able to still do the videos, but I'm not going to promise anything just yet. But you guys will get the first updates as soon as I decide to progress with these endeavours and see where we're heading. But they are definitely big things. They're, I haven't seen many people do these on YouTube. So I haven't actually seen anyone do this on YouTube. So we, uh, yeah, definitely some big things to come. But I will do a separate video on that nearer the time. I have a question for the Q&A. This time it's serious. Sounds like my last one. Do you think people should work out just for aesthetics and no function? No. I do not think people should just work out just for aesthetics. Uh, because I think when people look up to, they call these aesthetic people. Um, I'm not going to name any, any, but you guys know the people on YouTube or people you see in magazines and you think, wow, I want to aspire to be like that one day. That person's not new to the gym. Um, they probably started out thinking, oh, I just want to get lean, I want to look good in that, but they are on a journey themselves. So when you idolise someone and look up to someone, it's not, it's okay looking at where they are currently, but it's where they've been. They've been through a big journey, okay? They may have been working out for five to 10 years, maybe 20 years experience, but I definitely don't think that you should idolise someone and go, I want to look like that in the next two years, so I'm just going to get really lean. You know, I don't think anybody should just what is it, acquire aesthetics and disregard function? No, definitely not. I think you should go for a full functioning body. I want, I, I, I'll give you a term. I'll give you a, a typical how I want my physique to look. I want to look like a chiseled Greek god, but at the same time, I want to be able to deadlift, you know, five, six hundred pounds, bench press 400 or 350, um, bit, uh, overhead press 225, uh, and squat 400 pounds for repetitions. That's the kind of physique that I want to look and I want to attain. Something that's really chiseled, really lean and really look great. But at the same time, in the gym, you just fuck shit up. And when you walk down the beach, everyone's just like, wow. You know, like, although I don't care what people think, but I just want people to be able to approach me at the same time and go, you know what, could you give me some tips? Kind of like that. So I definitely don't think you should just go for aesthetics rather than function because at the end of the day, you're going to end up 
in a bad place. Uh, you know, you're going to end up hurt or something because you're just going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, and then, and then fuck everything else. So I'm a bit bunged up today. I'm very sorry if this is affecting the microphone. Uh, so I do put a belt on. I mean, I can still deadlift uh, 360 or 350, um, but yeah, I can it. So we tried 55 pounds without the clips, and she got it out, and I was like, hey. what? I was like, what happened, Nella? 